welcome to my channel everyone and uh, I've been on all night doing videos so this is going to be my last video it's 5 52 a.m. here in Iowa my time so uh, this will be the last video for a few hours then I'll be back on later today so thank you for uh, coming to my channel please subscribe and hit the like button I appreciate it so very much and God bless you, and you are a blessing. For, former President Trump is leading President Biden by eight points. Now, this was posted, uh, I think, three or four days ago, because I was off for two, two days and two nights. And uh, so, this is a little bit late getting on, but it's all right. Uh, it, former President Trump is leading President Biden by eight points in hypothetical. 2024 matchup among Iowa voters, according to new Emerson College poll released on Friday. The poll found that 47% of likely voters in Iowa said they would support Trump in the potential rematch, while 39% said that they would back Biden. Another 10% said they would support a different candidate, and 5% remained undecided. So, Donald Trump is 47 ahead of Joe Biden's 39. Biden's support matches up closely with 34% in the poll that approved of the job he's doing as president. Those people are nuts. I'm sorry. However, 56% said they disapprove of Biden's performance. That's better. The FBI searched for Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence in which the agency recovered dozens of classified documents, made no difference in increasing his support among a majority of likely voters in Iowa. 38% said the Mar-a-Lago search has no impact on their likelihood to support the former president, while 34% said it makes them more likely to support Trump. Only 28% said the Mar-a-Lago search decreased their support for Trump according to the poll. Last month, a nationwide poll from the Wall Street Journal showed Biden leading Trump by six points. President's approval rating was up at that time. After a series of legislative successes for Democrats, however, Biden's approval rating dropped five points at the end of September, landing at 41% according political morning consult poll. The Emerson College poll was conducted October the 2nd through the 4th with 959 likely voters and had a margin of an error of 3.1 percentage points. Original article uh, was posted uh, uh, leads a Biden 8 in Iowa source conference. Okay, well, we'll see. We got some time left. But boy, oh boy, I can't, I can't see another two years. I really can't. Well, let's see what else I've got lined up here, and then that will be it for me. So let's put this down. Uh, I know one that I wanted to do. And, uh... Here it is. And let's slide this over just a hair. Get my camera back over here. Look at this over. Yeah. Well, I lost it. Wait a minute. It'll come back. Okay, this is Wisconsin. Yes. Hang on. That page don't want to do what I want it to do. Now, just a minute here. All right, here we are. Wisconsin gas prices rise 15 cents in one week. Barrasso, Barrazo says lasting solution is unleashing American energy production, not draining our own emergency supply. The minor relief from sky-high pump prices 
was short-lived, especially in the West and in the state of Wisconsin, where gas prices have completely soared in the last week. Analysts continue uh, to be critical of President Biden's tapping into the nation's emergency oil supply and say domestic production is instead the solution to these record high prices. The administration may try to pretend otherwise, but President Biden's keep it in the ground policies are a major reason Americans are facing an energy cost crisis. U.S. Senator John Barrasso, Republican of Wyoming, wrote in an opinion column, Unleashing American energy production, not draining our own emergency supply, is the lasting solution to high prices. According to AAA price data, the cost of a gallon of gas in Wisconsin has risen 15 cents in the last week, 45 cents in the last month, and a current average of $4.03 per gallon, while seven days ago it was $3.88 per gallon, and a month ago it was $3.58. My God, look at that. Look at that. Holy cow. According to Wall Street Journal analysis, the Biden administration has leased fewer acres of offshore federal land oil and gas drilling than any other administration in its early stages dating back to the end of World War II. I've read that. The, an the analysis data proves that President Biden's Interior Department leased 126,228 acres for drilling during his first 19 months in office. No other president since Richard Nixon in 1969 to 70 leased out fewer than 4.4 million acres at this stage in his first term. After signing a series of executive orders that patronized uh, climate change in early 2021, President Biden has taken action to remove fossil fuels entirely in America from killing the Keystone XL pipeline to banning oil and gas leasing on federal land, which has provided around one-fifth of the total production in the United States. As of 2019, According to the report, Europe's Energy Crisis, a warning to America, issued by the U.S. Senate Committee on Energy and Natural Resources. As of April 1st, the nation's strategic petroleum reserve, reserve held 564,058 million barrels of oil in stock. As of September 30th, 2022, the SPR inventory stood at 416.4 million barrels of oil, a decrease of 148 million barrels since Biden's initial release. In his effort to curb high gas prices earlier this year, Biden began tapping into the nation's emergency crude oil supply in the strategic Petroleum Reserve, RP, SPR, on Thursday, March 31st. He announced the release of up to 180 million barrels of crude oil from the SPR over a six-month period. According to OPEC, plus sources, the influential alliance of some of the world's most powerful oil producers is reportedly considering their largest output cut since the state of the coronavirus pandemic, CNBC reported. The number of barrels coming off the market will likely bring a return of crude oil prices nearing a hundred bucks a barrel. Analysts say, I read that here a while back, amidst rising fuel prices back in November 2021, OPEC and its oil producing partners rejected President Biden's calls for increased production, retorting that if the United States believes the world's economy needs more energy, then it should use the capability to increase production itself, Forbes reported. Makes sense, don't it? Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm. U.S. Wisconsin is experiencing spike 
and opioid, opioid related overdose deaths as drugs flood southern border. Texas Abbott urges Biden next nation cartels are terrorists and it's time we tr treat them that way. Oh my, 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 my. Inflation has shot up a staggering 13.2% since Biden took office. I'll tell ya. I'll tell ya. I don't know. Well, this is going to be a shorty video. I'm getting kind of sleepy. So, I'm going to look for my button here on my video. And I'm going to say, God bless you all. Stay safe. Keep praying. Keep the faith. Something's got to give one of these days. God bless you all. And you are a blessing. See you later.